Hello interwebs and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing all of my video ideas like now because um, I'm stuck in isolation with nothing to do except homework and I want to procrastinate real bad. <laughs> um, so today I thought it'd be really fun to do a what's in my dance bag. Um, I have this beautiful bag from Capizio which is a lot smaller than the other one I was using which I had to like lug around campus and it was like really big. So for Christmas, I was like, mom, I need a smaller dance bag. Um, so this one's really cute. It has a uh, little dancer jumping on the front and it has leather straps and uh, a drawstring so I can zip it closed. Um, the pin on the front is my remembrance pin for my friend Alex who was killed in a car accident a couple of years ago. So I have that on there to remind me to dance like every day is my last because you never know when it is. So that got dark real fast. <laughs> um, a little bit lighter now. I also have a cute little husky pup um, from uh, my when I did Beauty and the Beast. I got, there were seven of us wolves and uh, I was, I was a wolf, and so I got, as a cast gift, um, one, each, each of the wolves got a little stuffed wolf. So he, his name is Barnaby, he sits on my dance bag. So, let's break this puppy open, shall we? I don't even know how, what I have in here. Uh-oh. There we go. Struggling with my setup a little bit, but... We'll, we'll get used to it. All right, first thing I'm finding in here are my point shoes. Um, I wear block heritage, and I wear them in two different sizes. So I wear my left foot, I have a size five and a half uh, with three X's, and then my right foot, I wear a size six with three X's. Uh, so these are nearly dead. I should, I really should be getting new ones. Um, I have, I've glued these though, so they should last me a little bit longer. And when I get new ones, I'll do like a how I prepare my point shoe uh, video. Because I feel like that'd be fun. And then also in here, well I've found one, are my uh, ballet slippers. They are also Capizio because everything else I feel like makes my feet look like blocks. Um, and these also, I need new ones, uh, these are really worse for wear. My toes are coming out. Um, but yeah, I should wear my point shoes more than I wear my slippers, but slippers are just so much easier. All right, and up next I have my TheraBand, and I use my TheraBand every morning before ballet class to kind of warm up my feet and get my feet going. So there's that, and I have these little ankle warmers that I made out of an old pair of socks that were like falling apart and getting holes. So I cut holes in the toe and in the, also in the heels so I can slip them on over my point shoes in the mornings for days where my, um, where my uh, ankles are not feeling great, which is every day, usually. <laughs> um, next I have my knee brace. I don't wear this as much as I used to. I got injured last October. Um, and then my knee was just like acting up with like the weather changes and things. So I have it in there. Uh, just in case, or like also if we're doing a combination in modern where uh, one of my, like one of the moves is to like do something crazy on your knee and I just have like the worst knees. Um, put that on and life is so much easier. Uh, up next I have some balls. Um, I have a tennis ball and I have a spiky ball. I got this ball for Christmas and I love it to pieces. Um, I use this for my feet, to roll out my feet in the mornings. And then also like my, um, my uh, calf and my Achilles tendon because I have, I have terrible knees and short, tight Achilles tendons. It's kind of like the worst combination. Um, so I can get my muscles going in the morning with the spiky ball. And then I also have for, uh, like for my hips or for my back, um, like just to like sit on the, uh, the tennis ball, it gets out like the tight knots that, um, 
would or it makes it easier than just like rolling out on a roller okay so next I have my emergency kit and I have it in a cute little pouch I've had this pouch for forever I don't even know how I got it or when I got it but I'll show you what's in it so of course I have emergency supplies um, I have some band-aids in there for uh, blisters or if a toenail comes off uh, speaking of toenails, I have some toenail clippers um, in case of an emergency, which I've used these a lot. Like I'll show up to point class and realize, oh shoot, my big toenail is too big. So I'll do emergency maintenance right there. Uh, I have some point shoe emergency stuff. Uh, so I have a string and a thread just in case my ribbons or elastics decide to um, explode in the middle of class or in the middle of rehearsal, it has happened. Um, I had, oh gosh, I had an audition for the American Midwest Ballet Second Company a couple of years ago where I, it was like my second year doing it. So um, I like kind of already knew that they were gonna take me, but my point shoes were brand, brand new and I had just sewn the ribbons on and in the middle of the audition, the ribbons came off. And like only one ribbon on one shoe. It was like, this is, it's like in the middle of the audition. So like the direct, and I remember the director, uh, her name's Erica, she's amazing. She's, oh God, I wanna be her when I grow up. Um, but she was like giving me corrections and I was just like, uh-huh, yeah. I can tell that you're looking at me because my ribbon's flying off. It's ridiculous. Um, also for ribbons, I have my lighter in case uh, my ribbons decide to Spray off. Um, I don't know, this is a cool trick if you don't know. So um, I cut, so when you cut the ribbons, uh, the edges can become frayed. And the, with the material that the ribbons are made out of, if you just take your lighter and you just like singe the edges of the ribbons, then it like melts together and then it makes it so that uh, the ribbons don't fray. So that's really, that's a very well known ballet trick. And then of course, my Advil, cannot survive without this, seriously, especially if you're, I'm at the end of the day and just everything is hurting, everything's exploding. Advil gets me through it. Ibuprofen, it's, it's what I live off of. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is something new that I've discovered. It's called Tiger Balm. Um, and it's basically like natural, Icy hot, I think. It's, it smells kind of like chai, which is like, which is interesting. But um, I was watching a different ballet vlogger, and she mentions she uses this all the time. And then it's like, huh, that's interesting. I should try it sometime. And then when I was at Walgreens the other day, um, it was on sale. So I was like, well, obviously the universe is trying to tell me that I should use this stuff and I love it, it feels great. Oh, it feels so good. Like my shoulders are uneven right now. Like this shoulder is higher than this shoulder. I don't know if you can tell, but like just rubbing it on my muscles in the shoulder relaxed it so nicely. It's amazing. So Tiger Balm, I highly recommend. All right, what else do I have in here? Oh, my duct tape. So I was use I tape my toes as well. Uh, so a couple of, I've been using like toe tape, like Russian point, whatever uh, toe tape is out there. But then I realized the way I use the toe tape, because I also have uh, toe pads, I don't really need like the fancy padded tape. I just like need the tape to keep uh, my, like either my toenails from falling off or like for my toes from rubbing up against the shoe. So I just switch to duct tape and I usually can use just one piece and then rip it in half. And then I use it on my pinky toes and on my big toes. And while I'm talking about my point shoes, let's look at my toe pads, because I have a few of them. Um, so I have, I wear uh, these big tips, and I'm missing one, I'm missing the one that goes with this one. But I wear um, big tips on my toes. These are inside out, like that. And then I have uh, ouch pouches. So I wear, I have two pairs of ouch pouches that I alternate so that um, they don't wear out as quickly. I need new, I need all new stuff. I'm beginning to, see the other thing is I don't have a job so I really can't buy 
and you think I'm running out of money, it's great. Being a poor starving college student without a job is great. Um, and then something I've started to use recently are these little uh, big toe spacers. So they just go in between your big toes like that. And I use them because, let's see if I can get a foot up here. I use them because uh, my second toe is larger than my big toe. And because of that, when I put my foot in my shoe, my big toe like wants to hug my second toe. So I use the toe spacer to like get my big toe to be straight so that I can uh, safely put support on it. So these have been a game changer for me, definitely. Um, what, else, what else do I have in here? I'm running low. Oh, I have hand sanitizer. Uh, this is from uh, Bath and Body Works and it's marshmallow pumpkin latte. My friend got it for me for Christmas. And I've been using this a lot recently with the COVID stuff. Dear Lord. <laughs> um, and then I have some uh, also Bath and Body Works uh, cherry blossom mist for when it's after modern class and I don't smell good and it's time to go to an academic class. Uh, toss this on and it mostly covers up the problem. I have, all right, I think I only have two more things left in here. I have my water bottle. Uh, this is super important. I can't survive without it. It's like, this is, this is the thing I have to make sure I have every time I walk out the door. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. I love my water bottle. I prefer this to the um, sippy. I like, it's just an open top. Um, and I prefer it to the sippy because uh, it like makes you slow down. Um, so when you have, uh, when you get a drink, you can also make sure you're still breathing and you're still getting oxygen and all of that is flowing because I tend to hold my breath when I dance, which is an issue. I'm working on it. All right, and then last but not least, at the very, very bottom, the little mascot guy. This is pot of he, he It means um, step of the chicken. And it says his name's Cricket, but it's, I renamed him. And he is from one of my ballet teachers, Mr. Lovegood, who's out at American Midwest Ballet. Uh, I think it was last, wow, it was really last season? I think it was last season. Last season, um, he gave everybody in the repertory group a little stuffy, and I called dibs on the chicken. I wanted the chicken real bad. There were other animals, too. Um, and then pot de poulet means step of the chicken, which is like a little inny outy move with um, your leg. So I keep him in there to remind me of my uh, repertory family. I miss them. I mean, I guess me, I'll get to see them if I have to go home, but yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, this uh, peek into the black hole that is my dance bag. I'll usually also have like um, some sort of snack or a uh, change of tights, things like that. Uh, I'll throw in there too. Um, oh, and I forgot uh, my little... Um, they're called foot undies. They're just like little um, pads for the balls of your feet. When I had a blister a couple of weeks ago, I tossed those in there and I just didn't take them out. So I hope you all are doing good. I hope you all are washing your hands and uh, keeping six feet away from each other. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's today. Woo! Yerinko <laughs> bra! I love St. Patrick's Day. I'm kind of sad that I have to spend it all by myself. But yeah, so... Have a good day, wash your hands, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.